Hey guys, so I want to start off by saying happy birthday, Shane. I hope you're having the most amazing day ever and it's just so many things good coming your way and you deserve so much and I can't believe you're like 30 already. That's so crazy and you know, I hope you have the best 10 years, so many years forward and all that stuff. So I wish you the best and all of that. So love you, Shane. Hope, you have, hope you're having an amazing day. <laughs> All right, so um, as you guys know where this is going, this is a birth um, dedication video to Shane. Um, so, because he is turning, today's his birthday, and he's turning 30, and so I'm going to be doing like a video called like 30 Reasons Why I Love Shane Dawson, you know. Even though there's so many reasons why, like a thousand million trillion, even if that's a number, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and you know, so let's get started with it. So... Um, the first thing is, um, number one, I should say, is he has saved so many lives. And oh yeah, I wrote this all in, because I can't, I'm not a brain, I'm not a computer, all that, so. Don't mind the, the list. So, um, as I was saying, number one, he has saved so many lives over the years, and, you know, he has saved, he has saved mine in many ways, you know, not like, real bad, dark ways, well, just like, Feeling, making me feeling good about myself, you know, all that stuff, and accepting, like, body positivity, and all that stuff, so, those, that's like, you know, and these are in no particular order, by the way, I want to go by saying that, so, yeah, <laughs> all right, and list number two, he is the sweetest guy, you know, that you could have ever met, and Oh my gosh, like, I'll never forget when I first met him. He was just the most sweetest guy, you know, so welcoming, you know, and all that, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, number three. Number three. <laughs> he is so talented in everything he does. You know, he's so funny, you know, like, just he's so witty, like, smart, and all that stuff, so. That's you know, my number third reason. <laughs> number four, four. <laughs> he is the most hardest working man you could ever known. You know, he just, he knows what he's, he's just, he knows what he's doing. He's just so hard working and devoted to his work. And he likes it when he, when he's working on something, he's, he's, he's wants that done as soon as possible. Just, just the hardest. Um, number five, he, he, five, <laughs> he is genuine, like the most genuine person ever, like generous, genuine, you know, <laughs> same difference, but the most genuine person you could ever have known in life, um, it's just, uh, he's just such an amazing guy, <laughs> um, number six, he's welcoming, of course, he, this is one of my favorite things about him, too, is how he's so welcoming to everybody around him who he knows and loves and cares about, you know, like, he's just welcoming, you know, he welcomes people into his home when he does videos, when he has people come over to his house, he's just so welcoming to them, and, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> number seven, 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 yeah, <laughs> he is dedicated, he is so dedicated in the stuff he makes on video, on, on YouTube here, you know, what he posts, what he does, just everything, he's so dedicated to his, to his work, his friendships, all that stuff. He just he's just a dedicated person in general. So, yeah. Number eight. He has an amazing sense of humor. And this is absolutely true for so many reasons. Like, no matter what it is, he just, you know, he just has, he just has an a, a amazing sense of humor about things. Like, no matter how sad you are you know, how happy you are, no matter what mood type you're in, he can always make you laugh no matter what. Sad, mad, happy, all that stuff, you know? So whatever mood you're in, he can always make you laugh through anything. Number nine, he loves children. When I seen that video of him with that, ba with that baby, um, Adrix, that, helped, that just melted my heart so much. Oh my gosh. Is he such, oh my gosh, he would be such an amazing dad. Oh my gosh, imagine him in Ryland. Oh my god. Okay, I, I, I gotta stop. Okay. <laughs> Number 10. 
<laughs> he is creative. Oh my, he is so creative. Oh my gosh. The most creative person. You know, I keep saying about everything, but it's true. He is so creative. Oh my gosh, with his thumbnails, with his videos, you know, with his films, like his short films especially. You know, he is just so creative. You know? So, <laughs> yes, he is just so creative. Number 11, he is a strong man. <laughs> he is strong. And, you know, he's strong because he's went through so much in his life. His childhood life, his young, his teen life, his adult, his early adult life. He's just been through so much in his life and he stayed so strong, you know, through those things in life. And, he, and that's what's made him into the person he is today. And, you know, like, you, he, he's strong and strong in his heart. Just, he's just a strong person. And that's what makes him so great, too, is how strong he is inside and out not physically you know not just physically i should say but like just like strong you know number 12 he shows how he shows how much he cares about his fans he really does sorry if i'm like I, you know but he she shows how much he cares so much about his fans you know he just he loves his fans so much he'll do anything for them like look how he flew me out to california just to be on his podcast like that, I don't know any other YouTuber or any celebrity, in fact, excuse me, that would do that for somebody, like for a fan. Like for him to do that, I even told him, like, I don't know anyone else in this world that would do that for somebody besides you. And he got all, you know, like all, you know, but just like, he, he just really loves his fans. If anyone says otherwise, they can, you know, go, bleh, <laughs> you know, but like, he, he really loves his fans so much. If I ever see anyone saying he, then they can come to me. And I'll tell them how it is. <laughs> you know, but he loves his fans. I'm serious. I'm dead on serious. He loves his fans. Till the day he dies, he'll love, care, and support his fans. And he is determined or dedicated, whatever. Even though I kind of said something similar to the other one, but... Like what I'm saying, he's like determined. He is determined to make things done. He's determined to make people happy. He's just determined. He's just a, a determined human being. He's determined to get stuff done. Like what I said. So that's yeah. Um, number fourteen, I think. Yeah, we're on number fourteen already. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> number fourteen. He has amazing merch at amazoncom Dawson. <laughs> yes, as you can see, I am wearing his iconic OMG pig shirt. So, yes, one of my favorites. And, um, yeah, his merch is so comfortable, so soft. And I know this has nothing really anything to do with him, but this is something he made. And Garrett helped him, you know. So this is, like, this is partially him, you know. And plus, he wears this every single day. So, yeah, so I have to include the merch. So, as I was saying, Amazon.com slash Shane Dawson. <laughs> Number 15, he is such a wonderful dog dad, cat dad, you know, to Uno, Honey, and Cheeto. You know, he is, he's just so amazing with them. And like I said, I can't wait to see how he'll be with kids in the future and all that. So, yes. <laughs> and as I was saying, as for number 16, he loves animals. Any kind of animals, you know. Probably not like really scary animals, you know, you know, I don't really think of animals as really scary like snakes or sharks, you know, like stuff like lions, you know what I mean? Like they're not scary, they're just living their lives, you know what I mean? But it, this is about Shay, not about like animals. So, um, yeah, so yes, he is an animal lover, like how he had that coyote in his house, not in his house, I should, you know, clarify, in his yard. Not in his house <laughs> but um yeah like how he was helping him how, how how he was feeding the coyote when that wildfire stuff happened and all that so yeah like you don't make lots of people don't do that you know what i mean like he loves animals period <laughs> he loves his family and friends for number 17 he loves his family and friends so much like look how he does stuff for his mom i love Teresa so much you know, but, and his brothers, and, you know, his cousins, aunts, uncles, all that stuff, even, like, how he reconnected with his dad, and 
all that in that video. That was so heartwarming to see that. And I love, that's like one of my favorites, by the way, you know, but yeah. So he just loves fam his family and friends like Garrett, Andrew, Morgan, and then even though Rylan's his boyfriend, you know, but still friends and all that stuff. So <laughs> yeah, he has such an amazing smile. Every time when he laughs or just smiles and photos and stuff, I just, oh, I just love his smile so much. It makes me smile just thinking about it, as you can see, you know, but yeah. Um, he is a good citizen. He is. He's never broken the law or done anything bad in his life. He's just been always such a good person inside and out. So he is a good citizen to this country. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> um, he is funny. As I said earlier, he is such a funny, funny, funny man. That Yes, that was my thigh that you heard. <laughs> he is such a funny guy. Oh my gosh. Sorry if the sun's like beaming. can't see there that. There we go. But yes, he is such a funny guy. You know, he is just, just so funny. You know, like how his humor is, how he does like he he can make anything like all dreary and sad and anything like I said earlier like do something like he can make it into a funny thing you know that's what I love about him he just makes something something so sad and dreary miserable into something happy funny like you can always laugh about something with him he is relatable I you know for 21 he is relatable as you know he is, he like, as what he went through, like I said earlier, so what he went through as a kid with his struggle with his weight, and he still kind of does today, even though I think he looks good today, even though he did then too, like, any way he looks, he looks amazing, you know, but he's, you know, like when he does jokes about himself, like, it's like relatable to us, because at times we feel like that, we don't feel good about ourselves or how we, you know, don't like the way we look that day, how we feel blue and all that stuff. And he shows us like, hey, he's this famous guy that he, that, you know, has over 14 million subscribers and he can show like how, hey, I don't feel great that day either, you know, and he's just like, he's relatable in those things, how we get those days too. So that's one of the many reasons why I love him too about that. He is the most humblest guy for number 20, 22. I don't have that many fingers. <laughs> he is such a relatable guy. No, not relatable. Humble. Sorry, losing track now. <laughs> humble. He is humble. He is such a humble guy. And oh my gosh. You know, like he's not, even though he, like I said earlier, he doesn't have like, even though he has like all the subscribers, followers, all that stuff, he's Matt Kathy Griffin, Larry King, Katie Couric, like all these famous people, okay? And he still has been the same person since he started YouTube. And he has never changed. That's what the main reason why I love about him. He's never changed about who he is. And even then when he came out, he still was that same guy. Because I've known people that have come out to me personally. They've changed their whole personality. And they, like... And like, love whoever you want in life, be whoever you want in life. As long as you're nice and respectful to that person, that's all I care about. You know, let me fix, I don't know, this lighting. There we go, much better, I think. I'm not sure, no. Oh my gosh, I swear. <laughs> all right, is that better? Let me fix this. Hold on one second. As I was saying, you know, like, 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 as I was saying, like, love whoever you want, be whoever you want to be. As long as you're nice and caring to that person, respectful, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, that's all that matters. If you're, like, mean and something, like, you're, like, you know, human, respect a human being to another human. You know what I mean? Like, for him, like, he has not changed who he is. And that's, like, the main reason why I love about him, how he's just, you know, so caring and all that. He's not, like, proud. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay, he, he makes amazing content. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I thought that's a tickle. He makes such amazing content on YouTube. Anything, like short films, his movie he directed, all that. 
you know? So he makes such amazing content. And that's also the other reason why I love him too. It's like he just makes, no matter what he makes, it just turns out so good and so amazing, you know? So that's just, it just what's, he's just amazing in it, doing everything basically. Whatever he does, it's just amazing. Number 24, he is an amazing director. When I first saw his um, movie for the first time, Not Cool, which came out like about four years ago, which is so crazy, because I remember when he first announced it, first, you know, went to his red carpet premiere for it, and all that. I, and I remember when he was in Pittsburgh at the time, even though I couldn't see him, and, and I didn't have like the area well enough at the time where he was filming and all that, so. It's a shame I couldn't meet him then, but it's funny how things are now. Like, if I would have met him then, I wouldn't be able to have met him on his show, so. You know, but, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. But, yeah, like, he's just such an amazing director. And I know that's been his childhood dream to be that. And, and he will make so much more movies in the future, I guarantee it, because he's such that good of a of a director, person, all of the above. So, yeah, he stays true to himself. As I was saying earlier, he does. He stays true to himself. He doesn't change for nobody. He stays who he is. You know, when he used to do like sketches back in the day and he, when people didn't like it and all that stuff, didn't like how his videos work. They were like offensive, even though some stuff was. You know, obviously, but that was the past and all that. <coughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> but, with my tickle brother. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, he has changed. People change and grow and learn from things, and he has done that in life, absolutely. You know, but he hasn't, like, changed his comedy, his, his work ethic all that so yeah hold on, let me get a drink for one second guys oh my gosh i don't know why i keep choking like that but <laughs> but yeah like people have changed and learned and things and grow and from their mistakes and yeah some stuff he did make was offensive back then but like even like even even in that time frame he has still made good funny content and People still didn't like it for those things, you know, but like, you know, no matter what he makes in life, he just makes, he just, he just, you know, he's true to himself about it and all that. So, yeah. Um, number 26, he is the most handsomest, even though this is my opinion, rather, I think he's handsome, you know, he is handsome, <laughs> you know, he you know, like, even though he has a good heart, he has good looks and all that, so, yeah. N number 27, he has such a good heart. He ha he does. He I love how he gives so much people, like, how he's helped Chris Christopher getting a camera for Christmas, and um, that Sophie Pecora, how she, he helped her, like, perform for his mom, and all that stuff you know like he has such a good heart he loves to give and all that stuff that's like such an amazing quality about him yeah um number 28 he accepts everybody no matter what no matter what race religion gender sexuality etc no matter who you are inside and out he'll accept you you know and that he this is another example for why he has such a good heart too like he'll accept you no matter what or who you are, etc. You know, like he just loves you inside and out, no matter who you are on the inside and out. Like, you know, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but it's true. You know, so yeah. Number 29, he has such beautiful eyes. If you've ever seen his pictures on Instagram, how beautiful his eyes are and all that. Oh my gosh, his eyes are just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Those bluish green eyes. You know, so I just love him so much. And finally, number 30, he is smart. He is such a smart man. He knows what he's doing on uh, in this industry. He just knows what he is doing, period. 
he's just the smartest guy you could ever know in this world. So, yeah, so those are my 30 reasons why I love Shane Dawson, even though there's tons, tons, tons more reasons why. But I only did 30 because of what well, he's turned today. And I'm so thankful that for three decades, which is crazy, he has done changed so much in the past 30 years of his life and has changed so many people's lives, including mine and others I've known. So thank you, Shane, for helping everybody and helping us, and me, including me, you know, and just loving, accepting us for who we are. And thank you for being you. Never change for anyone else. Stay true to yourself. Stay who you are on the inside and out, and, you know, and for Ryland, he's such, he, Ryland's so lucky to have you as his partner and boyfriend, all that stuff. So, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys like these kinds of videos about Shane. And if you want more videos about Shane, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below. And also, don't forget to press that notification bell when you know I have a new video. So, I hope to see you guys next week. Bye!